Manto, Chinese, mantu often referred to as Chinese steamed bun, is a type of cloud-like steamed bread or bun popular in northern China. The name manto is said to have originated from a tale about Zhu Liang. Description Manto are typically eaten as a staple food in northern parts of China where wheat, rather than rice, is grown. They are made with milled wheat flour, water and leavening agents. In size and texture, they range from 4 cm in, soft and fluffy in the most elegant restaurants, to over 15 cm in, firm and dense for the working man's lunch. As white flour, being more heavily processed, was once more expensive, white manto were something of a luxury in pre-industrial China. Traditionally, manto, bing, and wheat noodles were the staple carbohydrates of the northern Chinese diet, analogous to rice, which forms the mainstay of the southern Chinese diet. They are also known in the south, but are often served as street food or a restaurant dish, rather than as a staple or home cooking. Restaurant manto are often smaller and more delicate and can be further manipulated, for example, by deep frying and dipping in sweetened condensed milk. They are often sold pre-cooked in the frozen section of Asian supermarkets, ready for preparation by steaming or heating in the microwave oven. A similar food, but with a savory or sweet filling inside, is baozi. Manto is the older word, and in some regions, such as the Jiangnan region of China, and Korea, manto, or the equivalent local reading of the word, can be used to indicate both the filled and unfilled buns, while in Japan the equivalent local reading of the word, manju, refers only to filled buns. Etymology and history Manto may have originated in the Qin state of the Zhou dynasty during the reign of King Zhaoshang 307 BCE to 250 BCE. Manto as well as other wheat-derived foodstuffs such as noodles, shaoving and baozi became popular during the Han dynasty 206 BCE to 206 CE, and collectively were known as bing, bing. Manto was distinguished as zheng bing, zhengbing or longbing, longbing. During the Western Jin Dynasty (265 to 316 CE), Xu Shi Xu Shi wrote about steamed cakes, Jungbing Jengbing, in his Ode to Boiled Cakes, Tangbing Fu Tangbing Fu, written around 300 CE. He first called them Manto Mantu Manto. In this book, it was advised to eat this in a banquet during the approach of spring. The Mongols are thought to have taken the filled baozi style of manto to many countries of Central and East Asia about the beginning of the Yuan dynasty in the 13th century. The name manto is cognate to manti and monti. These are filled dumplings in Turkish, Persian, Uzbek, mantu cuisines. Folklore a popular Chinese legend relates that the name Manto actually originated from the homophonous word Manto, which literally means, Barbarian's Head. The legend was set in the Three Kingdoms period, 220 to 280 CE, when Zhu Liang, the Chancellor of the State of Shu Han, led the Shu army on a campaign against Nanmen forces in the southern lands of Shu, which correspond to roughly present-day Yunnan, China, and northern Myanmar. After subduing the Nanmen king Meng Huo, Zhu Liang led the army back to Shu, but met a swift flowing river which defied all attempts to cross it. A barbarian lord informed him that in olden days, the barbarians would sacrifice 49 men and throw their heads into the river to appease the river deity and allow them to cross. As Zhu Liang did not want to cause any more of his men to lose their lives, he ordered his men to slaughter the livestock the army brought along, and fill their meat into buns shaped roughly like human heads, round with a flat base. The buns were then thrown into the river. After a successful crossing, he named the bun, Barbarian's Head, Manto, Mantu which evolved into the modern Mantu. Another version of the story relates back to Zhu Liang's southern campaign when he instructed that his soldiers who had fallen sick from diarrhea and other illnesses in the swampy region be fed with steamed buns with meat or sweet fillings. Variations in meaning outside northern China Prior to the Song dynasty the word manto meant both filled and unfilled buns. The term baozi arose in the Song dynasty to indicate filled buns only. As a result, manto gradually came to indicate only unfilled buns in Mandarin and other varieties of Chinese. 
In many areas, however, manto still retains its meaning of filled buns. In the Jiangnan region where Wu Chinese is spoken, it usually means both filled and unfilled buns. In Shaanxi, where Jin Chinese is spoken, unfilled buns are often called momo, momo which is simply the character for steamed bun. The name Momo spread to Tibet and Nepal and usually now refers to filled buns or dumplings. The name Manto is cognate to Manti and Monti. These are filled dumplings in Turkish, Persian, Uzbek, and Pakistani. Mantu cuisines. In Japan, manju mantu usually indicates filled buns, which traditionally contain bean paste or minced meat vegetable mixture, nikumin ru man. Meat manju. Filled manto are called siopa in Philippine, ultimately derived from Chinese xiaobao. Xiao in Thailand, they called filled manto as salapao, salapaya. In Korea, mandu, mandu mantu can refer to both baozi or jiaozi. Jiao in Mongolian cuisine, manti or mantu are steamed dumplings and a steamed variation is said to have led to the Korean mandu. In Singapore, the dish chili crab is commonly served with a fried version of manto. See also References External links Chinese steamed bun man too.